Hello everyone, I recently started making 172 scale AFV models because I found them very relaxing and funny to build. So here's a new one. I choose exciting Russian fire support combat vehicle with a cool nickname Terminator. The kit is made by Zvezda and it has very nice details. Maybe you know 172 scale AFV kits from Zvezda with simplified construction for assembling without glue. However, this one is not simplified at all. You can build a lovely model from the kit because the quality of plastic and details is perfect. So let's get started. I remove each part from plastic sprue with Tamiya sharp side cutters. The kit has a lot of small parts, so it is much easier to use for gluing extra thin glue. As you can see, I simply let flu glue into the joint, and that is all. And if I need glue together something without large surface, I can simply use super glue or Revel Contacta, which has much thicker consistency. I must remove mold lines and reminder after mold runner with a metal file. Sometimes it's more comfortable to replace gun barrel with a metal tube. And in the end I make a hole to muzzle brake with a hypodermic needle. I admire construction team from Zvezda. I didn't use party from the whole building process, so it was a pleasant change. Only what you need to do is clean mold lines. However, it's not a problem at all. I use point sandpaper with 180 grit. And after a few minutes, you have all wheels ready to paint. Okay, let's painting. First, I must mix paint properly because the pigment is on the bottom of the bottle. Then I dilute paint for airbrush. I use an airbrush with 0.15mm nozzle. So I must add a lot of lacquer thinner. And again mix everything properly. I use airbrush harder on Schneebeck Infinity and air pressure of 20 psi. I choose for Terminator very interesting desert camouflage. The manual has the same size as the model, so I use it as a template for creating masks. Unfortunately, Zvezda did not include in the manual view from the upper side. So I found a few original pictures and make a mask according to them.
now I paint with a paintbrush dark brown areas. I use paintbrush made by Da Vinci size 0 and with a natural hair. In the end I fix the result with a clear transparent varnish and I let it dry for 2 hours. The model has a lot of small details so I make them more pronounced with a dark brown enamel wash. Guys from Modeling Club told me a good tip for very nice rubber color. It is this one, Revel Animal Matte Color number 9. I paint with this paint all wheels. It is animal paint, so it dries a little bit slower, but the result is very nice. Zvezda has very nice and realistic thumb tracks. They are molded from one piece, so you must only bend them to the correct shape and glue them on the model with super glue. However, they are covered by side armor and fenders, so that you can see them. Because I like colors, I will try to paint highlights with oil paints. The main reason of this technique is to make raised details more pronounced.
I paint light sand color with acrylic because it dries much faster than oil. And now I paint shading with oil paints. Oil dry much slower than acrylic, but you can easily blur color to the needed result. I imitate mirrors with a cell adhesive chrome foil. In the end, I paint a few scratches with acrylic paint and then fix the result with a semi-gloss varnish. I built the model after 3 days. The major problem was with the camouflage scheme, but the rest was very straightforward. Kit has a lot of tiny plastic parts, but everything fits perfectly, so you don't have to worry about it if you will decide to build this model. And that is all my friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.